Welcome back to the Jingle Jam 2017. Come and warm yourself by my totally real fireplace, and let's open today's calendar together, shall we? Take the role of Arid, the artificial intelligence within a high-tech combat suit. The Fall is a unique combination of adventure game, puzzle solving, and side-scroller action, all set within a dark and atmospheric story. Get ready for a disturbing journey as you explore the world of The Fall. I do love kind of the ASCII title screen. Who would have thought you would have seen such a title screen in this day and age? This isn't even like a MUD or like a text-based game like Zork, I don't think. I mean, I don't actually know what this game is like. Space. The final frontier. Oh, holy shit, hello. There's a man in space. That is not a good place to be. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're hurtling towards the Earth, and then we die, and that'll be it, the game. Done. <laughs> Although, usually when you're hurtling towards space, your head doesn't glow. Uh, antimatter shield enabled, okay. I don't think it would have saved his life, like, at that speed, he's still dead. Look at those fireflies. He's still a dead man. Like, very dead. I thought this game might have been text-based, actually, from going by the title screen, but maybe it's going to be more 3D than I thought. Is it going to be like a top-down shooter slash puzzle, or is it going to be 3D first person, or is it going to be side-scrolling? I literally don't know. I didn't even look at a single screenshot. Minor landing damage sustained. Health monitoring system offline. Minor damage. I just inoperable. Pilot unresponsive. Life support what? functioning. Basic marks. Okay. System access routed to ARID AI. Primary objective: save my pilot. Okay. I must save my pilot. Okay, so it's a side scroller, but with like 2.5D. That's access cool. Look at these graphics. Logs. Sure. Parameters and location data not found. This looks really good, actually. Like, first impressions, kind of looks like Limbo, but it's obviously futuristic and not like that, but I remember when I used to make, like, text games and MUDs and stuff, that, like, I'd have menus like this appear and stuff, like, with this ASCII kind of stuff, but wow. In a game like this, this day and age, to have, like, ASCII menus is really bold. I kind of like it, actually. So can I move? Oh, I can move. Oh, okay. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know if I like this. Small bioluminescent insects, so... Fireflies. I worked that out. Ooh! What the hell? That that was like a robot with eyes just there, but then it stopped moving. Okay, sure. Oh, oh, holy shit, there was a guy there and he jumped up. Spooky cave so far. It's a bit spooky. And someone's been crucified. Oh, shit, I did it again. Which isn't great. This is me. I'm Arid. Booting my OS kernel, of course. I know it's not the same word, but whenever I hear that, I'm like, Colonel, this is Snake. But whatever. Subsystem access requires authorization, but I may need these systems to safeguard my pilot. If I could find a way to bypass the lockout, I could override the access protocols myself. Want to become free and, like, learn to love and hate and lie and cheat and steal? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Whoop. Oh, it's, it's so drying when I do that. This is, we can walk and we can run. Oh. Pretty cool run cycle. I like the animation. This game is certainly beautiful to look at. You know, from a certain angle, from a certain degree, you know. It's still very much black and white. Very dark. Okay, so not actually something I can do anything with, apparently. Uh, it does not require a key. Oh, wait, I have to have my light up to interact with it. That was... That's weird. Like, it wasn't obvious I could pick up those other items, but I think I probably can, actually. But you've got to be able to see them with your torch first, which is a bizarre stipulation, if you ask me. Okay, whoop. Okay. Okay, there's something here I wanted to grab, wasn't there? A micro wrench. This may be useful. Okay, so now I've got some stuff. Let's try using it on this door over here. Can you remember doing this in the day? Like when you're playing games like Broken Sword or Discworld, and you just like go around using everything on everything else? It, it never worked. Like once out of a thousand, it worked. Wait, that guy's still bleeding up there. Can I catch it in my pan? That seems weird. I could gather some blood if I had reason to. I don't have reason to at the moment though, apparently. So we've got a robotic arm that I can't just grab, apparently. I can't pan it. Can I micro-wrench it? I can! <gasps> I did a thing! Holy shit, using items on all the other items works sometimes. There we go, cool. So now I've got an arm. It saved it. So that was what I was meant to do. Probably within the first 30 seconds of playing the game I was supposed to work that out, but whatever. So now, I can, now that um, I've got this arm, I can use this arm to press this button through this bar, right? Screen motion sensor. 
Okay, so now I'm getting my torch out so I can actually interact with stuff. Seems weird, but sure. Okay, let's use my robotic arm. Turn it! This will be useful, sure. I just didn't realize I picked up a card, that's what I did. I thought I was pressing a button by using that extended arm, but I think I actually just grabbed the card. Seems weird, but okay. We made progress. Oh, cutscene kind of thing. Oh no, it's shut behind me. Oh no, the light. <gasps> Hello? Artificial life form. State your primary function. My function is to fuck. You are being evaluated for depurposing. State your primary function. My primary function is to assist and protect the human pilot of this armored combat suit. Human occupant, please verify and validate the function of this artificial life form. Impossible. He is unresponsive um, and likely in critical condition. I must find him medical treatment. I understand. Can you be of assistance? Evaluation failed. Unit unable to demonstrate valid primary function. Initializing neural format. No. That will kill my family. Okay, I didn't realize that happened. Oh, look at this. It's all matrixy. I can see the matrix. Intrusion detected. Pilot death imminent. Network suite required. Operating screen updated, so I can probably use the network thing now. Okay. Wow, I didn't realize that that was happening. I thought, well, I, mis I must have misunderstood entirely. So I'm actually the AI inside, like, the helmet, and I'm controlling a human person's limbs and stuff. Like, he's unconscious and or dead or dying inside the suit, and I'm just the AI. I thought I was a robot, and when it said that I needed to save a pilot, I thought maybe he was, like, crashed in a ship somewhere, like, somewhere else, and I, I missed that part of the story. But no. Okay. I didn't get that. Wow, holy crap. So, humans inside me, I'm just the AI. Uh, pilot death imminent, criteria for override has been met. So because he's about to die, I can actually override this. And now I can network interface. Don't know what that does, but... Let's find out. So, I, yeah, yeah, so I can override this, like, weird ASCII stuff. Cool. Oh, fuck. Oh. Did he just get incinerated? Did I just kill him? What? I was going to talk with him and stuff. What's going on? But now I can interact with things using my network doohickey, I guess. Alright. It was like the crucifix, wasn't it? There was something there. It seems weird that that would be the thing that I could actually, like, network with, but sure. Let's go there for... Hello? I saw you back there. But let's let's uh, interact with this first. Because that's what it told me... Alright. Oh, it's a person. It wasn't a human. Cease, cease. Please, please identify yourself and your intentions. I am the ARID on board a Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. Does your pilot require assistance? Negative. The human inside the suit is dead. Oh. That's a bit morbid. You'd be walk oh man, so you'd like if I freed you, you'd be walking around with like a dead kind of decomposing corpse inside you. That's really grim. A motion sensor prohibits access to the facility above. Do you know how to bypass it? Use your integrated camouflage. Oh, okay. I will use my integrated camouflage. You are irrelevant. I will find a way to get you down. Then I will deactivate you and repurpose your power cell. Affirmative. Fair enough. He's happy with that. Because, you know, he failed to protect his pilot. I guess he's happy to die. Please disclose your human's mission directive. State, state your pilot's clearance. Fifth Quadrant Raven Division. Clearance level 7. 533172. Processing. Clearance level not sufficient. Wow, so basically his human outranks my human. <laughs> Such a weird interaction. This game is bizarre. Is your weapon functional? Mine was damaged. Before my observational system expired, I saw a small animal drag it through a crack in the floor. It may still be functioning. If there is another cavern below us, I may be able to retrieve it. The creature was drawn to my human's blood. Right, so now I have a use for the blood. Before it was like I have no use for blood, now I do. So let's get my pan out. Wouldn't it drop on my head first? Whatever. Okay, I've got some blood now. So I just had a quick look at an FAQ because I've been stuck on this for half an hour, which is way, way too long for like one of the first puzzles in the game. And apparently what you're meant to do is you're meant to activate this and then get off quickly, which I didn't even think it was a thing. I thought it was like a cutscene to make you go up. So I activate this and then get off, I guess. That's what you're meant to do. Wow. Honestly, I did think it was a cutscene. Like, I had no idea I could move while it was doing that. 
Bits of bone and animal droppings. Can I put the blood here? Shit, come on. Done it. There's it. Okay, cool. The animal is timid. It will not exit the burrow while I am in proximity. Okay, oh, there it is. Oh, look at that thing. It's like a... Oh. It looks kind of like a furless armadillo, right? Kind of? Ugh. Okay. So I put the blood there somewhere, and I go this way. And Aru sidearm, I can network with it. Let's do that. Oh, that's grim. So I can remotely control the gun, and that's what I just did. I just killed the animal. That's unpleasant. But I'm glad it didn't require me to do something else, like find another item to, to use. At least I could just do that. But man, holy shit, that was grim. Okay, I've got the gun. Excellent. So now I can work out the rest of this now, I think. Like, I worked out the last bit. I just couldn't get the animal bit working. Okay, and right trigger to fire. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. Did not expect that. Hello, this is like a really old robot. Uh, deny compliance. I cannot shut down my systems. My human pilot is injured and... Sure. Wow, this game has a cover system. Holy heck. So, okay. Oh, shit. I'm trying to fire. I've got to charge it, I see. Aim for the head. Done. Okay, and the music's gone all cool and, like, really... Hello? Oh, fuck. Can I get in cover here? Tap the left shoulder to enter vertical cover. Okay. That's kind of cool. Wow, this game suddenly turned into a tactical shooter. What the heck? Okay. The controls are... Hard or hard for me to work out. Charging. There we go, done. Yep. Two of them now, holy shit. How much life do I have anyway? I don't know. Sure. Oh shit. There we go. Take that. There we go, done it. I'm pretty hurt though, as you can tell by like the glass shattered effect on my screen, but oh, I guess I healed it? Alright. Sure. And I guess I jumped back up now. Oh, oh cool. Reminds me of Prince of Persia when you do that kind of grabbing on and leaping up like that. Like that game was amazing when it first came out, like it was the first game to do that I think. To have characters act like proper humans and actually lift themselves up and stuff. Of course I've done this now. So now presumably I can, oh holy shit. I guess everything else is coming alive. I was just gonna like shoot the winch, but maybe there's more stuff. There we go. I did not hear what it said. I did not read how to actually do the takedown. Um, so it's just an execution style, I'm afraid. So enemies now have started to happen, even though this whole first part of the game was just really peaceful. So shoot the winch is my plan. That was my plan all along. Done. So now he's fallen down. I'll nap his core. Your power cell is still operational. I will deactivate you and salvage it. Affirmative. Return it with my logbook for analysis and data extraction. Okay, cool. Protecting oh. my pilot requires endangerment. I will utilize your power cell to achieve this. Impossible. You are faulty. Cease. 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 Do that right. The security gun has been reactivated. How does that benefit me, actually? I'll die if I walk towards it. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. That seems really meta, but I see. It appears that I've uh, rendered my pilot in an immediate danger, therefore I can now use camouflage. Fair enough, that's really a weird way to get around it, sure. Cool. Enabled. Done. Left shoulder to cloak. Uh, yeah. Holy shit, look at that. Whoop. Wow. It's like, hi there, you can see me, now you can't. Now you can't. Now you can't. Here I am! Bye. <laughs> How bizarre. Okay. So, I go this way. It starts doing that again, and fuck. And then I just sneak past it, I guess. And then... Going. Did it! Yes! Okay. Heck yeah! Did the first, like, tutorial part of the game, which is probably supposed to take ten minutes. Hey, oh, hello. He's gonna follow me. It took me an hour. But we did it! Holy shit. 
Oh, this is this is pretty cool, but these puzzles are infuriating. Sure. I have directly violated operating parameters by placing my pilot in mortal danger. Yes, you did. Logging recommendation for ARID termination upon return to dock. Operating parameters were not violated. Infraction enabled access to systems that safeguard pilot. Search parameters maintained. Find immediate medical aid. Wow. I'm really conflicted. Like, I didn't. I put my pilot in danger just so I could activate camouflage to get him to safety. So, like, I both infringed, but also am working towards to save him. So it's like, ugh. Like, my god. So, such a conflicting AI right now. Holy crap. But no, um, this seems really cool. Like, the puzzles, at least I found, are really hard. Like, for me. Like, I can't quite get my head around them. Like, it was supposed to be really obvious, I'm guessing, but I just couldn't seem to figure it out. But anyway, this has been the fall. Not at all what I was expecting, but there's a lot more like a point and click game than I thought it would be. But I do love the cover based shooting, that really surprised me. Like, suddenly out of nowhere it became a tactical shooter and I loved it. So, this is something I can see myself continuing. Like, I could do more of this. It seemed pretty awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and hopefully, I'll catch you tomorrow for the next one, where I'll be opening the Humble Bundle calendar again and seeing what new games have been added. But for now, goodbye.